Eclipse is one of the most popular open source IDEs for Java. It makes writing Java programs a cakewalk. It helps a developer to be very, very productive as well. In this video, let's try and install Eclipse. The only prerequisite for Eclipse is that you need to have Java JDK 8 installed. Actually, any Java JDK sh should be fine, but we are going to write Java 8 program, so you need Java JDK 8. Installing Eclipse is really a cakewalk. All that you need to do is go to Google, or search for download Eclipse. So one of the first links would be what you see on the screen right now. So eclipse.org slash downloads. So you just need to click that link and then you would go to a screen where you would see something of this kind. This drop down which you would see in here would show all the different options which are present, all the different operating systems. So if you are on a Windows, you choose Windows. If you are on Mac, you choose Mac. If you are on Linux, choose Linux. We recommend that you install Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. So we would recommend you to install Java IDE, sorry, the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers because we would make use of some of the features related to Java EE from there. This will be a slightly larger download compared to the just Java developers download. You can see that this is 254 MB, whereas this is 155 MB. But we would want to actually use stuff related to Java EE. So let's go ahead and download Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. You need to go ahead and link, click the appropriate link. So you know how to find out if you are using a Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. We looked at it in the previous video as well. So based on your specific operating system, choose uh, that specific download link. Once you download the zip file, you can extract uh, the zip file to any folder on your hard disk. That's it. You are ready to launch up Eclipse and start writing Java programs. As I said before, installing Eclipse is a cakewalk. So all that we need to do is we, down, we needed to go to the eclipse.org site, download the package, unzip it to a folder. That's it. We are ready to launch up Eclipse. Once you go to the unzipped folder and double click the Eclipse launch file, you'd see that the Eclipse would launch up fine. If everything worked out fine, when you double click the Eclipse icon or the Eclipse launch icon inside the folder you unzipped to, you'd see Eclipse asking for a workspace. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Eclipse and you are now ready to move on to the further steps. However, if you had problems with the current step, then these are the things which might help you in troubleshooting this. One of the things is the Windows built-in decompression utility, I mean the zip file to unzip it. By default, Windows uses the decompression utility, which is built-in. Sometimes this can give you a problem. So if you have problems unzipping the file, then probably you can think of installing 7-zip and using it for doing the extract. The second thing uh, you might have a problem with is where you are extracting the uh, Eclipse zip to. So if you are cut, 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 if you are unzipping it to a folder with a long path, it might sometimes re lead to problems. Or if you have a space in the path, that might give you a few problems as well. If you had problems with things like this, we would recommend that you actually directly unzip it to a root folder like C colon D colon. Just create a folder called Eclipse and unzip it there. If these two things did not help you, you can find more instructions and how to troubleshoot Eclipse installations at this specific link. In the last two steps, we installed Java and now we have installed Eclipse as well.